Hello again, this is Pastor Steve Dameron. I'm sitting with Scott Rosenall. And Scott Rosenall has a unique opportunity. So I'm going to have him share a, a little bit about it. And a question may come up. So it's called Operation Feed Venezuela. So if you'll take it from here. Okay. So what we're trying to accomplish here is um, gaining some, uh, some food stuffs for the folks there in Venezuela the basics just the basic stuff that uh that they're going to need in order to survive because that's what the mode we are in right now there is survival my wife is venezuelan we have family there um i just recently visited there during the christmas holidays and things are are not good there as most people have uh, have already heard uh, via the news so um this is this is an opportunity that we have to try to uh, get some foods into some of our Christians, brother and sisters, uh, and important uh, uh, some of the children as well uh, that uh, are needy that their folks have left because of the situation, yeah. they're of working age. So the the, the, the parents, the families send a, a working able body person out to, to go and make money some, somewhere, in some, else. somewhere yeah. else. So they leave their children yeah. behind um, and, and uh, all of this is obviously a, a major burden on all of the families there. Their monthly income is is nine dollars and something a month, and they're expected to feed their families right. uh, with that. And and we all know and and have heard the situation there. It is it is dire though. It it truly is, and um, it's nice to see that some of the, uh, the the local stations or you know right. even the the cable stations and such they're starting to report more on it. Uh, it's a travesty that they didn't do it earlier. Yeah. Uh, we're already well within uh, some really bad, bad times there. Rolling blackouts, uh, the, the time uh, where lights were out for over a week. Um, the, the, uh, the meat packing, yes. the meat, because right. you can still find meat, et cetera, there if you have enough money. They were giving the meat away because it was rotting. Uh, so every all the poultry, the meat, everything was all basically given away because the refrigeration units weren't working. There's no uh, safe water, so they're either boiling the water if they have gas, um, the yeah, electric, if, yeah. if they have gas, which that is another issue because they can't even find gasoline now. Yeah. It, 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 um, yeah. So it it is difficult. So purification tablets, anything like that, is is what we're what we're really really okay. asking well, for. All right. So let me mention something that uh, Scott has put together, and you can email at the bottom of the screen. You'll see my secretary's email, uh, Amy Knowles, and you can email her if you're interested in getting a sheet that he's put together. It's very it's very well put together. Uh, it has a lot of detail and it kind of explains what we're trying to do. It's basically uh, a list of non-perishable foods, yes. vitamins, over-the-counter medicines, and we're trying to get the, the food boxes in, at least for us, we're trying to get it in here. And then we'll have a man coordinating, uh, trying to connect with Scott. And right now we're shooting in about three weeks to try to have a number of boxes so that he has a contact down in Miami and you have to do this a little discreetly, discreetly. and so um, uh, there's a portion of a container that's correct that's we don't get a whole port we don't get a whole container we're we're hoping to fill a portion of that container and uh, uh, we're only asking for like a medium size Home Depot yes uh, type moving box of foodstuffs, the, the non-perishable yes. foods, uh, that's what we're, we're asking for, and under 50 pounds, because uh, it's amazing how much uh, a yes. medium-sized uh, you know, box you can actually put in there well, you know, over 100 pounds right. worth of stuff. We can't do it that way, so yep. try to be, uh, you know. So, so yeah. if you can, email us, mm -hmm. email my secretary. Again, the email is on the bottom of the screen, and we can get you this information, and a couple of things that he mentioned, uh, on it, he has the size of box, and that's pretty important because then everything is stackable. That's correct. And then yeah. the weight, uh, 50 pounds, basically, mm -hmm. or a little less, but little basically less. between 45 and 50, 50 pounds. That's are. right. That's right. Yes. Okay. So if you could work on that, uh, then also we're asking, and you can send the check to us, and then I can then do a lump sum for him. Uh, 
but the cost of shipping that box is $69. $69 from here, yes. So if you could uh, also think about putting that check uh, with that $69 and then everything is paid for, all right? All of the, the food, then hopefully we're buying it, then $69, then hopefully he can get, um, we at least wanna try to get one of these going if we have to, mm -hmm. if we get enough food items, then maybe we can do a couple of them yes. over the next couple of months. So right. this is called Operation Feed Venezuela. Mm -hmm. And again, email us, we can get you this information, but I think it's something that is really important. I, I'm Again, there, there could be a possibility that it comes in and it sits, there's always that. There is always in that. A, in a third world mm -hmm. country, there's always that. But you guys were able able actually we, to we try are, this we are able we've done it we've replicated it on a couple of occasions yeah. already over the past couple of months uh, it takes it takes four weeks to ship so yes. we know that and with the uh, service disruptions with the electricity has caused a lot more yes. situations there to, of, of the loading and unloading so there have been ships that have been sitting for a week because of you yeah. know of a, of a week long without any electricity. So we have to be patient, but we can get this these these much needed items uh, yeah. in, into the country, we can. So. If you'd like more information, uh, he's also trying to, um, he's partnered with uh, a pharmacy down there. That's correct. So, uh, if you'd like, if you have some contact as far as working with some doctors, um, dentist, mm -hmm. um, email us and then I can get a hold of Scott and we can get you more information because we'd like to ship a couple of boxes of medical supplies also. Yes, yes, that is also critical. All critical. right, yep. so I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. All right.